Hello, and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. Today, I'll be going over this week's problem of the week. For the full problem and the solution transcript, there will be a link in the description of this video. This week's problem of the week was to find a formula for the area of an n-sided regular polygon, which is just a polygon with all the sides um, of equal length. <coughs> uh, and so, to do this, we have to find a similarity between regular polygons. And the similarity that pops out is that um, you can create regular polygons using um, isosceles triangles. And you can see this. Assuming that I actually drew the regular polygons right, you should see that um, these are all isosceles triangles, and these are all the same area. Um, I'm not going to show that. Um, if you don't believe me, you can try to show that yourself. But I'm just going to move on. Um, so what we have to do is find the area of one of these triangles, and then um, multiply it by the number of triangles in each polygon. So uh, to get started, we should probably find the angle for each of these triangles. And so um, <clears throat> you should know that if you go all the way around, that's 360 degrees, which means that um, if we label this as theta, we can write that theta is equal to 360 degrees. We'll use degrees and not radians, um, divided by the number of triangles, which you uh, hopefully can see that the number of triangles is the number of sides of the polygon. So with an n-sided polygon, we'll just write n. So that is the angle theta. And so now let's blow up one of these triangles. Uh, so uh, let's label the side as S. So that means that this is S. Um, and we'll label this drop down perpendicular as R. Now, since this is an isosceles triangle, this uh, perpendicular will bisect this angle. And so we'll get theta over 2 for each side. And then what we can do is find the area, or find this length, and then multiply it by S and divide by a half, and we'll find the area of this triangle. But we have to find r. And what we know is s and theta over 2. So if we take the tangent of that angle, theta over 2, we have that it is the um, opposite side over the adjacent side. And since this whole thing is s, we have that this is s over 2 on each side. So we have that the tangent of the angle is equal to half of s over r. And then we can solve for r. And we get r is equal to 1 half times s. And since we're dividing by tangent, we can just write it as cotangent of theta over 2 which we can actually just write as 360 degrees over n divided by 2, or 180 over n. So now we have r. We have to multiply, well, we have to find the area of the triangle. And since um, the area of the triangle is equal to 1 half times s times r, we can plug in r. And we get that the area is um, s squared over 4 times the cotangent of 180 over n. And the last thing we have to do, now that we have the area of the triangle, we just have to multiply it by the number of sides, since that is how many triangles are inside the polygon. And so the area of an n-sided regular polygon 
is therefore equal to um, n times s squared over 4 times the cotangent of 180 degrees over n. Uh, and this will work with any n-sided regular polygon. Um, if you want to see something cool, try to see what happens when n goes to infinity um, and see what happens. But uh, with that, that is this week's problem of the week. To see more videos like this, you can click right here. To uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can click here. To go to the centerofmath.org, you can click right there. And if you're on a mobile device, there is an I in the top right-hand corner of the screen that has all of these same links. Thank you very much for watching.